The Russian Step. So many songs have been sung, so many films have been made, and so many poems have been written about its endlessness. People often call any open area without any trees a steppe. In actual fact, steppes are dry ecosystems in a temperate zone, covered in different types of vegetation and grasses. Steppes play an important role in Russian agriculture. It is right here where, over the centuries, the most fertile soil formed. The black steppe soil and grasslands were important for the foundation of the domestic production of meat, milk, wool, and other animal products. It seemed as though the bounty of the steppes was inexhaustible, but this was not the case. Steppes are among the most disturbed and least protected ecosystems worldwide, and Russia is no exception. It is currently estimated that by the end of the 20th century, some 75% of the Russian steppes were destroyed, now occupied by fields, cities, quarries, planted forests, and other facilities. However, steppes account for much of Russia's biodiversity. Many vulnerable or threatened plant and animal species exist only here. Hundreds of them are endemic, found in Russia and adjacent countries only. Since the 1980s, several nature reserves have been created in Russia. However, less than 1% of steppe ecosystems are under the protection of the reserves. In the past decade, the steppe's critical condition is increasingly the focus of international organizations. In 2010, the UNDP GEF steppe project was launched in Russia, the first major international steppe conservation project in this country. Unlike forests and water bodies, steps have no legal protection and the use of steps is actually determined by the law on agriculture. So the appearance of a large international step project in our country, aiming to protect the steps and step biodiversity, was a very timely and important event in Russia's life, a very significant nature conservation effort. The project, entitled Improving the Coverage and Management Efficiency of Protected Areas in the Steppe Biome of Russia, is being carried out under the auspices of the United Nations Development Program, funded by the Global Environment Facility and managed by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment of the Russian Federation. From 2010 to 2016, Four pilot territories of the STEP project were implemented in Zabaikalsky Krai, the Republic of Kalmykia, Kursk and Orenburg regions. These biosphere state nature reserves are called Daursky Chorny Zemli, Centralno Chorny Zemli and Orenburg Nature Reserve. Various species of birds and mammals, such as the little bustard, steppe eagle, saiga antelope, gazelle, palace cat, and of course plants, including feather grass and spring adonis, are indicators for the project and are under protection. A special role in the project was assigned to the Orenburg region that is located fully in the steppe zone, on the border between Europe and Asia. This region has retained the greatest area of typical and meadow steppes, home to many steppe animals. It is for this reason that in the 1990s, the first academic institute of steppes was founded in Russia, and the first fully steppe reserve was created, the Orenburg Reserve. The Orenburg Nature Reserve is the only reserve in Russia which was created solely for the purpose of preserving steppes. 90% of the whole territory consists of steppe. In July 2015, the territory of the Orenburg Nature Reserve was extended by 76% to include a fifth section, the pre-Ural steppe, 16.5 thousand hectares in area. That made it possible to embark on another global task, implementing Russia's first and for now unique program for the reintroduction of Przewalski's horse, which will restore the species population once extinct in the wild. With financial support for the STEP project, all the infrastructure required for bringing in the first horses was created in record-breaking time in the pre-Ural STEP, a lodge, a permanent study area, a climatization paddocks, and a quarantine block. And in October 2015, the first group of Przewalski's horses, provided by the Tak Przewalski's Horse Association, arrived from France. 
it's really impressive and so it's really a luck for the, um, the conservation of the Przewalski's horse to have a plot of such size available for, um, to accommodate the population. I think just by eyes that uh, it should not be any, no problem to, ha to have 1,500 uh, individuals, which is a, a size we consider that uh, appropriate to have a viable population from a genetic point of view. So for this reason, it's a really a very good place, maybe one of the best places in the world to have Przewalski's horse population here. The Przewalski's horse reintroduction program plays a key role in the restoration of the steppe ecosystem. Undulates effectively reduce the risk of steppe fires and the whole steppe ecosystem starts functioning more naturally. The evolutionary development of the steppe formed as an ecosystem with the predominance of numerous migratory herd undulates. Without them, the steppe degrades and many rare species in the territory of the reserve began to disappear because there was not enough habitat. The perspectives, when the population of Przewalski's horse in the pre-Ural steppe grows large enough, reaching some hundreds of animals, they will provide the necessary level of grazing pressure within the reserve. Between April and September 2016, the whole territory of the pre-Ural steppe site was fenced off in order to preserve the protected steppe and its future population of Przewalski's horses. And on the 3rd of October, Vladimir Putin, president of the Russian Federation, and Rafilia Bakirova, director of the Orenburg Nature Reserve, let the first group of wild horses out of the acclimatization paddock and into the reserve. This was the beginning of the semi-natural population of this animal in Russia. On November 20th, 2016, a second group of Przewalski's horses was brought from the Hortobad National Park in Hungary to the Orenburg Reserve. 14 specimens, a reproductive group and a group of stud males were chosen in a way to avoid any possibility of inbreeding with the created Orenburg population. The new horses were placed in the same acclimatization paddocks as the French horses used to live. Oh, it's just a wonderful place. It's just a perfect place for wild horses and uh, on the first side, it looks very similar to, uh, to our area, to Pentezouk. The pasture is not as rich. I think this is uh, even more the typical uh, former habitat of the Przewalski's horses when they, yeah, when they were still roaming freely in, uh, in Europe and Asia. In the next 10 months, the Hungarian horses will go through an acclimatization process. In August of 2017, they will be released on the territory of the pre-Ural steppe and new horses will be brought to the reintroduction center. On the pre-Ural steppe territory, the development of educational tourism is being planned and we have already begun to build the infrastructure. An ecological path called the steppe's breath has been created. Outlined routes such as automobile, motorcycle and bus routes. Most importantly, of course, there will be a guaranteed chance to see wild animals in the steppe and at the top of the list are the Przewalski's horses. The steppe project in the Orenburg region is a key stimulus for the protection of the steppes to be raised to a new level. The continuing work to save the steppe ecosystems and their biodiversity will be realized through large-scale government support.